I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next studio series review. And this is the Target exclusive two pack of our damaged, battle damaged, um, murdered <laughs> Autobots of Brawn and Ratchet, as some people are calling the childhood trauma two pack part two. <laughs> But, um, I actually, I know a lot of people are like wondering why, I mean, they were wondering what the first two pack and with this, they're wondering why. And personally, I kind of like it because there is like a seller on eBay who has like the Autobot shuttle console that you could get with the seats and you could set up the entire scene from the movie with that. And I want to do that. <laughs> so having this I can do that but as we always do let's take a look at the packaging and pretty cool packaging the way they did this um, hopefully soon they start adding the windows like I hope they do add the windows on the studio series figures again as well as the rest I think that's supposed to start with next year's um inclusion of the um prime they're calling it prime or something like that it's what's going to be coming after legacy united is done with at least that's what it sounds like right now but again so image of braun getting shot with his face looking like that ratchet it's the same thing like they did with um ironhide so there's really no difference there you can see brawn ratchet hasbro Takartomi, transformers generations the transformers the movie the transformers the movie barcode and much of other words and stuff as well as our warning please be careful don't swallow anything in this on this side brawn and ratchet on this side, same thing. And on the back are product shots, along with our display. So, yeah. And I'll show the display off a little later. But here we have our figures. Uh, they do come with, just like the first two pack did, blast effects and done in purple. The one on mine, it's sort of, um, yeah, I have to work on getting that straightened out. It's bent pretty well. Then here's the other one. So all the same, we've seen these blast effects plenty of times before. And I think what we'll do is we'll start with Ratchet. And it does come with his guns and just have them plugged in. Where I like to put them in vehicle mode like I do with Ironhide as well. Where it's sort of like exhaust pipes. So I kind of like that. And he does have the red, red stripe this time. Got the symbol on the side. Uh, painted in. It's no clear uh, translucent plastic this time. It is all opaque plastic. Which is very cool. Um, I really do hope that they continue on doing that. I got some blue back here as well. Same thing on this side. We've got our um, sirens. <laughs> got that just like with Ironhide, that smashed out window and the damage all along here. Autobot symbol right there. Some silver on the front. So we've seen this all before. Silver for the rims. Really nice tires. Silver for the rear bumper. There's the bottom. Yeah. And just like with before, he does roll really nicely. And yeah. So I'm not going to go into transformation on these guys because I went through that on the originals. It's all the exact same transformation. So I am going to transform him off screen 
and then I'll be right back. All right, and here we go. So here is Damage Ratchet in his robot mode, and take a look. So besides this piece being new, the uh, face is new, otherwise the head is exactly the same. And you can see he's got that sort of um, painful face that he had after getting shot when um, uh, the, the smoke and stuff was kind of coming out of him. Still got these symbols on the side. Um, granted, they're not the normal symbols like in the movie, but um, I understand why Hasbro has to do this to keep from... Um, getting a lawsuit by the Red Cross so yeah it is enough of a difference and I like it so articulation is the exact same head is on a ball joint rotates can look up look down not much arms come out that far I still love how they did that can rotate bicep 90 for the elbow, wrist, We've got waist, lift this up and can kick forward, not too far, back, not too far, full Van Dam, thigh, 90 for the knee, and then the foot can bring it down, and you got that much ankle pivot, so not bad at all. And he can, of course, hold his weapons, which are the exact same ones that uh, the original release came with. And you can take... I don't use the whole thing, but like I like to use part of it. And plug in that battle damage. Sort of have... Have him sitting, something like that. You know, it works. Works pretty well. I do like it. Um, <laughs> I know it's like a whole childhood trauma pack after, like, what, the first 10 minutes of the movie, 20 minutes of the movie? Well, the first 10 minutes of the movie, and we see so many characters that we watched for two seasons just bite the dust but yeah so put him off to the side and we will bring in Braun and really no differences here um, other than what you'll see in robot mode it's all uh, no translucent plastic all painted windows gun is exactly the same you know all painted silver so love that and this is all exactly the same big old Autobot symbol silver grill yellow for that front bumper got some sort of uh, gray whitish gray here and yeah silver on the wheels again all looks good can roll very well just like the original and yeah very cool Again, it's it's a great mold for Braun. So absolutely love it. Absolutely. <laughs> but again, I am not going to show the transformation because <clears throat> I did that in the original and it's all the in the original review. It's all the exact same transformation. So I will be well, here's the bottom Again, you can see how everything folds up, and you can see the difference. There's that battle damage, but we'll go over more of that in robot mode. So I will be right back. All right, and here we have Braun in robot mode. And again, looks really good. Great figure as the original is. Just we've got now a damage in the front. And yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> And then also, it's a new head. You can see that terrified 
expression from being shot by uh, Megatron being wielded by Starscream. So, yeah. Again, it's it's something different. <laughs> um, you can see all this yellow and the green just works well together. Got this uh, whitish gray again. Still very cool. Everything folds up nicely just like the original one did. Yeah, articulation is the exact same. You can rotate the head. Don't really get any waggle. It's not on a ball joint. It's, um, oh, I'm not sure. I can't think of what it's called, but yeah, you only get a left and a right. Arms only go out that far. Full 360, bicep swivel, over 90, just like the original. Nothing at the wrist. We do have waist. Legs kick forward that far. If we move this out of the way, Kick forward, kick back that far. Get this back up there. There we go. Over the full Van Dam, thigh swivel, under 90 for the knee. And the feet, you can move the toe and the heel down, and then we get that much ankle. So, yeah. Again, not bad at all. And of course, he can hold his gun. And then we can also sort of take, like I said, the, I like using this piece just cause like it looks like a full bloom, but then we can take this, sort of plug it in there. And it, I really wish we would have had like a plug, we could plug it in there because then that would have looked so much better like like it would have been nice just not a little tab there just but maybe well you could set it on there just have to be careful on how many vibrations are hitting your shelf and knocking it off but yeah and of course you can plug them onto the weapons there's that. If you want, although personally I prefer red ones for the Autobots, and then these purple ones, like, you know, when it's damaged to the Autobots, yes, use them, but they could go on the Decepticons' weapons. And yeah. So there is that. I'm gonna remove that actually whoops stay standing buddy and now we'll bring in the display and it is the Autobot shuttle um, main computers and cabin and all that you can just put them on like that <laughs> so yeah there is that um i got mine off of target's website and i've been seeing target have quite a few of these in stock so you know you got plenty of options on getting it um it's it is a target exclusive so definitely Check your targets. Um, Hasbro Pulse did have uh, some. I, they might still. Um, this is one of those sets that isn't going to sell out that quickly. Um, but it still may sell out pretty soon. So it it all depends on who wants to use it for what. So, But like I said, on eBay there is a guy who has um, 3D printed like the whole main um, computer that's like part of the cockpit of the Autobot shuttle with two with the two um, seat with two of the seats, not all four. And I think he built it specifically for these figures. 
So if you wanted to set up that whole scene, there is that for an option. It is not cheap from what I remember. I do plan on getting one at some time. When I do, I will post up a review showing it off with all four of these um, damaged Autobots. So, yeah. So, do I recommend it? It depends. I mean, I know a lot of people are gonna are asking like, why? Why are we getting these? And some people are like, hey, cool. I'm one of them ones are like, I want it for a display piece for right out of the movie, um, which is why I'm hoping like we got that new Commander class Optimus coming. I'm hoping we see a battle damaged of just the um, Optimus figure itself. Next year, we've got that new Megatron coming. I'm hoping we see battle damaged of that one. Um, I just, I want something to be able to, I want to do displays of as many of the scenes as I can. So, yeah. So that's going to be it for me. Well, unless, um, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to say it as people have called it it is the childhood trauma uh two packs so I, it's all up to your taste but i like it i like the option and yeah so that's definitely it for me as always i want to say thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all later